Hello, this is a special Steeler report. Um, this is Claude White, and I'm telling you. Now, my birthday was this past Friday, and yes, I had more than a few alcoholic beverages. I wish I had saved some for this evening's debacle against the Baltimore Ravens. Let me tell you, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and I understand there's no Le'Veon Bell, and I'm telling you one thing, what they should do is kiss Le'Veon Bell's ass and sign him tomorrow. They should give him whatever the fuck he wants, because without Le'Veon Bell, this team is a joke. Is James Conner a great story? Absolutely he is. Is he a decent running back? Um, he's about a C-plus running back. I mean, no, he's a dime a dozen running back. Le'Veon Bell is the best running back in pro football, bar none. I don't care who you want to bring up, Gurley, you want to bring up Zeke Elliott. I mean, pick whoever you want. Le'Veon Bell is the best running back in pro football, and he is by far their most important player, okay? That defense, or lack thereof, I, I mean, I hate to say it. And listen, there's only, there's only four games into the season. I understand that. But think about it. They're one, two, and one. I mean, they tied Cleveland, for God's sake. And you saw how Cleveland, listen, I understand that call was a joke too. I mean, they also ruined the Steelers, ruined my pick this freaking week and then we'll see what happens tomorrow night um, my god Steelers are bad Ben Roethlisberger let me tell you something about him you know what Ben Roethlisberger has been carried by this team for so long you know and I'm not a Terry Bradshaw fan I, 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 I used to think that Roethlisberger is better than Bradshaw. He's not. I'm sorry. I mean, he threw some unforgivable picks tonight, man. I mean, Terry Bradshaw played in an era. I understand that you look at their touchdown to interception ratio. I get it. But see, here's the problem. And here's why Bradshaw is better than Roethlisberger. See, Terry called his own fucking plays. Big Ben's still looking at a goddamn chart on his fucking arm. I'm sick of that. <laughs> Maybe I should throw it. He stinks. Antonio Brown's the best receiver in football. I understand that he's a handful. And when he's one of those guys, when things are going good, it's great. But when things are starting to go south, he's one of those guys you don't really want in your locker room. And I get it. And let me tell you something. This Pittsburgh Steel, this is the worst defense I've ever seen in my fucking life. You know, they, those Baltimore Ravens are playing like the Steelers. I mean, we're getting pushed around. The Steelers are getting pushed around. I mean, they did, I swear to God, they did everything but pull down their pants and fuck them out there. They were so fucking bad. It was a disgrace how bad this team was. Ridiculous. I mean, look at even the end of the game. I mean, they're, sm they're smacking Big Ben around. They're, I mean, they're pushing the defensive line. I mean, that Baltimore Raven offensive line is not even that good. They're pushing They're pushing the Steeler defensive line around like it's not. Where the fuck was Cameron Hayward today? And I like him. And I'm tired of hearing about how good Stephon to it. God damn, do something. Hard uh, God, that... Dud Dupree, T.J. Watt. God, this, this defense is terrible. I swear, it's like they quit on Mike Tomlin. And you know I'm a fan of Mike Tomlin. But they quit on him. There's no other way to put it. If they said, you know what, we're going to have to move on from Mike, first of all, it would be a huge mistake. Because Mike, Mike Tomlin would be out of job, out of a job for like two minutes. The minute that they call to tell him that he's fired, and the minute the next team calls with a job offer. 
he would be. I mean, he it would almost it would almost be a relief for Tomlin to leave the Steelers as bad as they are right now. But you know who's not getting any heat? The GM who's picking these fucking winners, Kevin Colbert. We still haven't recovered from Jarvis Jones. Oh, what a great first-round pick that is. Ryan Shazier was the most important player on the Pittsburgh Steelers. They have not been the same team without him. They haven't even, it's like they haven't even tried. I mean, they replaced him with John, John Bostic, really? Please, give me a break. Now, until Earl Thomas got hurt tonight, I was going to say, you know what, the Steelers should at least address the back end, get Earl Thomas, throw in the, you know, give two second round picks for this man, because I'm so sick of them getting burnt deep. I mean, Artie Burns, god damn, that's perfect name for him, Burns, because he, god damn, he always gets burnt. I'm sick of this fucking defense. They are a disgrace. Ugh. <sighs> Thank God the NBA starts in another couple of weeks because I'm telling you, and I know the Steelers, they're going to run off at least four or five in a row to get you reeled in, but the Steelers are not winning this division. I'm telling you right now, the Baltimore Ravens, it is their division to lose. Until the Steelers um, get a set, get some testicular fortitude, so to speak, that's it for them. Steelers are done. Listen, they, all that clamor, pouncy, and Foster made, they should, they should be kissing Le'Veon Bell's ass. Yo, I'm sorry, bro. Yo, man, you know what? Fuck it. They should be chipping in. They should give him, they should give him half the fucking salary. Hey, treat Le'Veon Bell like this. Le'Veon Bell is laughing all the way to the bank. Ugh. <sighs> This was a special Steelers report. This is Claude White. Please take care and God bless. And I will be doing an upload tomorrow with the top four destinations for Le'Veon Bell if the Steelers are still stupid enough to try and trade him. Please take care and God bless.